Al did the Vikings pull off the Minnesota miracle? How the hell did the Vikings pull off the Minnesota miracle? I woke up Monday still in a daze. Minnesota miracle. I woke up Monday still in a daze. Too intense. Down to the wire playoff games in one day, not even 24 hours removed from two of the dullest postseason games we've seen in a while, will do that to a person. But the moment that stuck in my head was Stefan Diggs' game-winning touchdown. I spent most of Monday trying to figure out what happened, how it happened. Here's what I got. Here's the setup for Seven Heaven and the Minneapolis Miracle. It's 3rd and 10 at the Minnesota 39-yard line with 10 seconds on the clock and the Vikings down 24-23. to All the Vikings really needed to do was to get the ball another down the field far enough for a reasonable field goal attempt, say inside the Saints 35-yard line, for a long run. That meant get it to a receiver, get out of bounds to stop the clock and send out Kai Forbath and the kicking team. Minnesota has a sad history with game-winning field goal attempts. But it was the smart play, the play that the Vikings were attempting when they called the Seven Heaven play, something they've practiced many times before. One receiver on the outside runs seven route down the field and near the boundary. The heaven part comes from the idea that if the receiver on the seven route catches it, good things will happen. Stefan Diggs was the angel designated for heavenly things on that play. He's lined up in trips on the right side of the Vikings' offensive formation. With tight end Kyle Rudolph and wide receiver Jarius Wright. Rudolph runs a short route down the sideline, and Wright runs a little deeper, but not as far down the field as Diggs. It's their job to look for the throw, catch it and get out of bounds, the safe thing to do on the play. Wright said after the game it was unusual for Diggs, the deep man, to get the ball. We practice that play all the time, he said, but the high seven never gets the ball. It has never been thrown to that route, as far as I can remember. Not this time. With a little help from the Saints' defense, Case Keenan pushed it down the field for the big play. Diggs delivered. The first question that came to mind, how does the Saints' defense let that happen? The Saints' defense was doing exactly what it wanted, and it was a big mistake.